What it do to us crew, what it do, what it do, what it do. The girl is back with another video. But before we get into that video, I need y'all to sub subscribe. I need y'all to hit that bell. I need y'all to like it up and up. <laughs> yeah. Um, so right now I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. It is 4 a.m. in the morning. Um I woke up, I can't sleep. I'm gonna tell y'all why I woke up in this video. This is gonna be like a update on how everything's going and a mini try on haul because this is just clothes I'm gonna try on that I have not been wearing in a long time that I bought previously because my other clothes from like the places that I bought them from ain't came in yet. So I'm gonna just do a mini try on haul to show y'all what I would kind of looking clothes as of right now. Um, tomorrow I will be five weeks post and I'm ready for six weeks so I can sit on that <laughs> but y'all can see my energy is not always up right now because I'm about to tell y'all why this is like a like I said it's an update um as you can see right now I'm not in my faha I hate it um I don't know what happened I've been like Okay, I woke up, I had my phones in for my side, my side because for some reason in this Faha, it's like cutting. Like some places it just feel like you're cutting off the circulation. So I put my phones in to kind of relieve some pressure and kind of stretch it out a little bit. Um, it's loose, like I can kind of do this too, which means I'm about to go down the size anyway. And I'm getting my a massage today, but um, I don't like the Faha and I feel like I'm gonna have to find another method because it didn't I'm probably really in all honesty I'm gonna get myself to about six weeks with this Faha and then start wearing start waist training or doing something like that because this let me show y'all first of all this is my Faha I took it off or whatever this is a size large, and I'm. they say I need to go down to a medium now. So this is my, it's my faha. I kind of cut a little hole in the back so I don't always have to take this out if I use restroom. But yes, this is my faha. This is the one that I have like the clips where you clip it. And then you zip it up, which I like this one. It's a really, really good Faha. I paid $120 for this. But, um, I need to find some else because that ain't going to work. When I tell you I woke up, and as of lately, I've been, I don't know what it is, I've been waking up sore. Um, like, with, with, when I have that stuff on, when I have my phones and my app board, I've been waking up sore and like let's see like you probably can't see it now because i had it off for like 30 minutes but it leaves like bad and in, in ditches like this my faha will leave inventions on my stomach where the zipper and the the clings are and then the phones will leave in dents like and it's my stomach is softening up and it's getting better like it's getting flatter. As you can see. But yeah, that's the number one thing right now that I'm uncomfortable with the Faha. And then when I have to go down the sides, that, that mm. when I tell you, you feel like if you compress so much and you eat and you lay down, like it feel like when you swallow, that throw up's about to come out your mouth. Like it's nasty. Like. Don't nobody want to feel like that. You just want to sleep and you want to be comfortable. I'm glad I'm basically five weeks post. So I got one more week before I can start sitting down, which is good for work. Because don't nobody want to be standing. I've been standing up at work for eight hour shifts. Like, it ain't fun. Um, the other thing is sitting, like I told y'all before. Sitting is frustrating. I've been getting real good at driving, like getting in the car, stuff like that, driving, because I haven't been 
I really like just scared to sit while driving because at the beginning when I tell y'all I was scared and I didn't want to drive at all because I was like I ain't gonna have no booty boop, doop, doop, boop, blah, 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 none of that so I was not driving or I was having somebody come pick me up if I was going with my friends we was going together they was picking me up but what is my what is this this is an indention right now because that's you no know, it's still swollen so but yeah so that's an indention right there um but the send down the faha and the send down like i'm gonna have to come up with another method i seen um the new girl kind of start at the same time but always nari she did like the like the panty kind of girdle and then she wore like a cami with it i may try that because this faha right now like Okay, I can do what she did. She wore it at work. She wore her faha all day at work. And then she wore her, um, like, the another something when she got home. Because, again, the lines, like, don't nobody want no lines. Like, it just gets stuck and it hurts. In some places, it's, like, hard. My stomach's not as hard as it was before. Because I've been doing my massages at home, too. I always do y'all massages at home. I'm going to do a separate video that y'all will see. Like, if y'all, do y'all see that? I'm gonna do a separate video for y'all to see about like the massages and that's gonna be like the next video i'm about to do put two videos out um probably back to back within like two different days because yeah i gotta start uploading more because i just i want for my trial haul and stuff like that y'all but other than that um i take regular showers I try to stay out, I'm gonna be honest, I've been staying out of my Faha, I think, at least four hours a day. Um, I work overnight from like eight to 4.30 in a lab. So before I go to work, I usually take my Faha off around 5.30 p.m. and then I go shower, eat, and stuff like that, and just chill, and I put it back on by seven. And then when I come home from work, I'm work. I be home at about five o'clock, I'll take it off again until like 6.30. So probably like three and a half, four hours that I try to be out of it just to give my stomach a rest. Because if y'all can't tell, like the bottom of my stomach is still dark. And it's lighter now because when I get out of my faha, uh, my, my colors start to come back. So and as you can see, you can see my, my marks. And this is my birthmark. But my stomach here and here is still really dark. And this is sorry, like every time I itch it, cause I guess my feelings get back, it start to scale up. So I have to make sure I keep lotion and stuff on there. Um, things I don't like is, hold on, let me show you what I do. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all things I don't like real quick um, about my BBL. Uh, Y'all already know I didn't do my back rows, so I'm gonna have those covered. But as for my butt, if y'all can kind of see, let's see. This part right here, if y'all can see, there's like a little lump. That was kind of there before. He got rid of it a little bit. Like he got rid of it some, but he didn't get rid of the whole thing like I asked him to. Um, because I didn't like that, I wanted that to be flat so that you could just see my butt or my butt look bigger than what it is or whatever, but it's still there. It don't look as bad because I have a little bit more cheeks, but do it move yet? Let's see, but it's starting to get its jiggle back. Like, It's not as hard as it was, but it's not. See that? You see that little bitty juice? It ain't even doing that much. It's still, it's still hard. But that's my most not like part of my BBL. And ooh, the fact that I still have fluid on me. Yeah, I'm about to just, like I said, drink every drop of water on this earth at this point so I could just do it. I'm also going to be drinking my, hold on. My 
tea. I'm be drinking my tea to. But anyways, I'm be drinking my tea to detox. Like, I just trying to get all the fluid out. Um, there's still a lot of buildup of fluid in my back. And Mama Sasa you said that if we go, if it's still like that, then she's gonna take me to her manager and they're gonna reopen it and try to drain it because as y'all know, y'all don't want seroma, which is build up a fluid and it gets hard. And I've been having a little bit of that on my lower, on my lower stomach and I don't like it. Like, but my, my, two, my two things that I, I can't get with that is the not sitting I'm getting closer to the end with that one. Like I said, I'm just probably rambling at this point, but the not sitting in the Faha. Like I gotta find conclusions. Cause I'm I can I feel like I can not do the Faha completely and still wear something over my stomach again, like waist training. And just I don't have to put that Faha on every day. I could put the waist trainer on every day and Y'all tell me what y'all think, or yeah, if y'all have more experience, or y'all know, give me another option because it's for high. Some gotta go. I'm giving it like two more weeks, and I'm gonna have to find some alternatives because waking up and you swallowing, you you tasting something that you're not supposed to taste, it's not what's up. It's not what's up. Um, make sure y'all get y'all massages, but I'm gonna do a separate video for that one. Um, I'm gonna actually record my lady doing my massage today as a like a little short video so I can get it out to y'all and show y'all the importance of a massage. I'm gonna show y'all how my body looks before the massage and what it looks like like right after. Um not in any pain, like I said, I haven't been in any pain, I haven't taken no pain medicine. Uh sleeping is hard because my sleeping schedule is off. I sleep all day and I work overnight, so that's my sleeping schedule. I don't eat as much. I've been trying to eat more. Um I've been trying to eat more, at least after I wake up before work, or I order food and eat it on my lunch break. But it's still, again, I probably eat once, maybe twice a day. Um, I've been getting better since the last video. Because at first I wasn't eating like at all, probably once, but I'm trying to at least eat twice a day. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all about my update on my body and the stuff that I don't like. Do I regret it? No. Would I do it again? Like around two? Yes, I don't know around two about the butt part because it's not sitting down to me. It's like, no. But I would do a body um, around two to get my love handles and my bottom back fat gone. I would most likely do that. But again, I want to wait till after I have kids because again, I don't have kids yet. So, um, yeah. But we're going to get into this trial haul. I'm just going to try on some cute clothes that I have in my closet that I haven't wore, like, out really, period. Uh, because I didn't, like I said, I didn't really like the way my body was looking at first. And so, now I like it, for the most part. So, let's try on these clothes and see how I look, and y'all give me y'all opinion. Okay, so this is outfit number one. So this will be outfit number one. Uh, as y'all can see, my boobs is huge and I didn't take off my sports bra, so if I turn to the back, y'all gonna see my sports bra. But this is how I look, let's see. Compared to that sports bra. This is how I look on the side. And it's still swollen right here, so of course it's gonna be a little punch. That's how I look on the back. I love this outfit for some reason. I know I got this one from Ross. Ross, Ross, Ross. But um, this little pud just gonna go away and if it don't, it's okay because it's way better than what it was beforehand. When I wear it, I could probably wear some Spanx, but y'all already know, like, it's still fluid all up on me, so. Yeah, I like this one. Y'all see, this is what I'm talking about. This little piece right here. The part I don't really like, but it'd be okay because, like, my butt kind of, whatever. 
but this is outfit number one and I will wear this when I go out and I will be like bow, 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 bow. Now let's go to outfit number two. Boo, two. So, there's outfit number two. Yeah, I did take my bra off, but this is outfit number two. I know that I like this. I like this because, and if you did have a little push going on, this covers it up and you still look cute. I ain't take my bra off because I don't feel like going all that. Again, it is four something in the morning, but I'm trying to do two videos today so I can get it out the way and get it out to y'all. But this is how I look in this. Like again, I said, like it covers up my little pouch. Who's expecting? Not me. Uh, so it covers up my pouch, but it still shows my tattoos. And I don't know, I just look sexy in you know? it. <laughs> but yeah, this is outfit number two. Probably gonna try on like one more, one or two more. But yeah, what y'all like? Y'all like outfit number two? I think it's cute. Or no, think this cute. Or no. And now, outfit number three. I wanted to put this one on only because, first of all, when I first got this one, I promise you I would not wear it because my stomach looked like <sighs> in it. But I wanted to show y'all how I would look in like some tights or something, how my body would look right now. But this is how my body look in tights. This is how we're looking like one of these. These is big, but this is how we're kind of looking like a little two piece set. As of right now, so I showed y'all what I would look like in a two piece set. I showed y'all what I would look like in a little one piece and how I would look with like some tights on. My stomach and my butt. Just getting there, y'all. Remember, this is a work in progress. This is a work in progress. A work in progress. So, uh, yeah, that's it for right now's video. That is my do I regret, well, whatever you want to call it, a uh, mini trial haul on just giving y'all an update of how my body looks in regular clothes and when my other stuff from like Fashion Nova and She's In or however you say that comes in then I'm gonna most definitely do a video on that. Um my channel's just gonna be a variety of things. I'm still I'm a vlog, I'm gonna whatever interesting I feel I'm gonna put on my channel regardless. Uh it's not gonna be strictly BBL videos. Um it is right now but it ain't gonna be forever. Um, what else? I think that's about it. I think, I think that's about, ooh, I think that's about it. Um, so yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe, hit that bell for me. Uh, we're growing slowly but surely, but we're growing. We almost rode to 1K. Get your girl 1K for me. Share this video with anybody and everybody. And I love everybody that's been supporting me from hands down y'all are amazing like y'all be emailing me and y'all be asking questions and i answer i try to answer as fast as possible i just want to thank y'all and for just watching my videos period whether you watch for five minutes or you watch the whole thing through um thank y'all so i love y'all i'll see y'all in the next video deuces